What is going on, Swayze gang? Thank you so much for tuning in, as always. In today's video, we're talking about the six must-have mods of the Dodge Challenger. Alright, so if you guys have been a follower or subscriber to the channel, you'll know that this 2017 Dodge Challenger 392 Hemi Scat Pack Shaker is for sale because I recently purchased a brand new 2020 Dodge Challenger Hellcat widebody. So unfortunately, that means that the content with this Scat Pack is limited on the channel, but I figured now would be probably one of the best times to talk about the top six mods, five plus one, six mods that I'd recommend if you own a Dodge Challenger. Challenger. Now, since this is the scat pack, I'm going to be using this as a reference, but just so you know, of the six mods, five of them can be pretty much applied to any single vehicle. So if you have any other Dodge Challenger, these mods will still apply. I'm just going to be using this as a reference, but I will say there is one mod, one bonus mod, which is number seven, that if you guys have a shaker, whether that's the scat pack shaker or the RT shaker, you guys might want to stick around because this is definitely a mod you're going to want to do. All right. We're we're gonna kick it off at the rear of the car, but this is in no particular order. But the first mod that I would recommend is the tail light divider. Now I will throw up on the screen the video of me installing this mod, but it's a really simple and nice mod that I would recommend anybody who owns a 2015 and on Dodge Challenger because this area is probably the most prone to scratches. The piano black plastic that they used on this little panel over here gets scuffed up so damn easy. And as a matter of fact, on my brand new 2020 Hellcat, after about 800 miles, I already noticed that there were some scratches on this area. And it doesn't really make sense why, because I only opened the trunk lid probably like twice. So definitely recommend doing something like this. This one specifically is from Lux Auto Concepts. I paid probably 50 bucks for it and I did an install on it, but they have a bunch of different options. You can do Scat Pack, you can do Shaker, you can do Hellcat. I did the Challenger with the honeycomb background embossed, but you can pick from a variety of different styles. And that is definitely one of the first things I'd recommend if you own a Dodge Challenger. Alrighty, now we're at the front of the car because we're talking about hood pins. Another must have mod if you guys own a Dodge Challenger because nothing says more more old school or more true to heart muscle car than Mopar branded hood pins right there, as you can see. Now, chances are if you bought a Dodge Challenger, you probably bought it because it is the most true to heart muscle car of the Mustang, Camaros, and Challengers. Not to say those cars aren't great, they're fantastic vehicles, but this one definitely looks more like a muscle car than any of those other vehicles. So what finishes it off better than having these Mopar hood pins? Now, one word of caution, I will throw up the video on the screen of where I did the install, but this definitely is not for the faint of heart because you do have to drill through the hood of your car. So depending on whether you're good at that kind of stuff or not, you may want a body shop to do it. In my case, the body shop didn't even want to touch this thing. So I ended up having my dad actually did the install, but I helped him out with that. It's not a difficult install whatsoever. It's just a little nerve wracking because if you put the hole in the wrong place, well, then you've got a hood with a hole in the wrong place or you got to get yourself a replacement hood. So be careful of doing that but I definitely recommend doing this. Now, as for the third mod, I would highly recommend you do something with the exhaust of this vehicle. Now, the reason I am pointing in this section is because, well, that's where the mufflers are located on the Challenger. You've got the resonators back here, which I would not recommend cutting off because the resonators do add a little bit of noise, but they also add drone inside the cabin when you're driving around 70 miles per hour. So I would not recommend cutting those off, but I do recommend cutting off the mid mufflers on this car because it adds a little bit of grunt to the vehicle. The option I went with was the Dynamax race bullets. And again, I'll throw the video up on the screen. In my opinion, the Dynamax race bullets is the best bang for your buck mod that you can do to the exhaust of any of these challengers or chargers. The sound of the Dynamax 
is amazing at wide open throttle and at cold start, but when you're driving it at highway speeds or just cruising it on cruise control, you really can't tell that this is any different from the stock exhaust. And for 25 bucks each, so 50 total for the two mufflers that you're gonna have to get, there's really nothing else that can beat it. Now you can always go for a muffler delete, but I think that sounds a little bit too loud all the time, whereas the Dynamax is kind of a happy medium between the two. And I guarantee it's probably one of the best sounding exhausts you can hear. Now, unfortunately, the camera does not do it justice. I will cut to a clip right now of what it sounds like, but keep in mind, you have to hear it in person to really truly appreciate what this car sounds like. Now we are at the front of the car again because the next mod I would highly recommend for any Dodge Challenger is the illuminated headlight tubes. Now I got these from Fasty's Garage and I'll put a link of the video where I did the installation. Now you can customize these headlight tubes to display whatever pattern you want. I personally chose the honeycomb because, well, similar to the back of the car, this is the Scat Pack, the Super B, so I thought the honeycomb was fitting, but you can do any different type of style. You can even put like a Hellcat or a Super B emblem in there. I chose the honeycomb again, but the website has a bunch of different options. What's nice about this mod is you can do this on pretty much any single 2015 and up Dodge Challenger because even though the Hellcat came with these inlet tubes to allow for more air to pass into the engine, every single Dodge Challenger comes with a plastic cap that covers this section and in the video you'll see me reach into under the hood and pull out or push out these plastic caps so that you can add these types of headlight tubes. The headlights are exact same for the Hellcat and even the SXT so it really doesn't matter which trim of Challenger you have they just covered them up if it wasn't the Hellcat. So kind of a cool little trick or a little hack that you can do with your headlights. Now what I like about these headlight tubes is that using an app you can connect to the car and choose whatever color you want on this car. Uh, now keep in mind some states have certain legal restrictions but it's nice to play around and you can even change it to uh, different types of settings where it can function according to music and other stuff as well. I've never really played with those options but this is a really cool feature that really separates the look of the car especially when you're at car shows and you, you turn up with a cool blue illuminated ring or red or whatever color you choose. I just think it adds a really nice touch and depending on how you wire it you you can have it on all the time or just when the headlights are on which is what my scenario is like but definitely a must-have mod if you have a Dodge Challenger. All right so the next few mods we're actually going to be in the garage because they have to do with lighting and it needs to be pretty dark in order for the effect to come through on camera. All right so the number fifth mod I would recommend are the puddle or shadow lights or ghost lights whatever you want to call them they are a really cool feature that just separate your car from all the others on the road now obviously i chose the scat pack because well mine is the super b but they have a bunch of different styles from the hellcat logo to just the dodge sign with the two slash marks and regardless it's just a really nice touch and a super simple and easy install to do on your dodge challenger or charger all right now the number six mod i would recommend is the electro luminescent wire also known as EL wire and that is this red stripe that I have piped through around the dashboard and the center console but you can really feed it around anywhere you want I made a video about this about a year and a month ago and it has still stood up the test of time they look fantastic and if you guys have a Dodge Challenger or the Charger this would be a great mod to do to really just light up the interior because it looks so much better with this electroluminescent wire. Now I'm gonna wait for the lights to fade so you guys can see really what it looks like when it's dark and you're driving at night. So this is what it looks like when it's dark and you're driving at night. It's just a really nice touch to the interior. Please ignore the low tire pressure. It's about 20 some degrees outside and so I need to inflate the front tires. But it's a really cool touch like I was saying and I think a lot of you have mentioned the Dodge Dart actually came with this feature, but none of the Challengers or Chargers came with it. So I would highly recommend you guys do this to the interior to spice it up a little bit when you're driving down the road. All right, so now the moment you've been waiting for, this is the bonus mod for anybody that has the RT or the Scat Pack Shaker. 
and that is the shaker lights. This is probably one of my favorite little mods to do on the shaker because it's a super simple mod. It's pretty cheap. I think I spent about 20 bucks on this and it only takes about a half hour to an hour to get it installed. What I love about it is it comes with this little remote where you can change any of the colors inside of the shaker and all it takes is a push of a button. Now I have my sensor located just behind this air inlet tube over here and so I just gotta point it in there and I can change whatever color it has on it. I wired it so that it would turn on whenever the headlights are on but you can wire it however you want uh, to make it on all the time or just when your uh, car shows. So whatever you choose, that's however you wire it. But definitely check out that video if you guys are interested in this little mod. It's again, really super simple, pretty fun, and definitely something to entertain the kids when you're going to a car show. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as much as I did. Those are just my most recommended mods that I've done to this vehicle over the last two and a half years of ownership. It has definitely been an absolute blast being able to call this car my own over the last two and a half years, and I'm most most definitely going to miss it once it's gone. Now the Hellcat definitely makes it a little bit easier because it's essentially the same car with just a bigger engine, but nothing is more old school or muscle car to me than having a 392 Hemi Scat Pack Shaker. So if you guys are in the market for the most true to heart muscle car, then you can't go wrong with this vehicle. Now, like always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can stay tuned for all of the updates to this car and the Hellcat. And also find me on Instagram at Schwazy underscore just like the YouTube name. I am also on TikTok now so if you guys like those mini short videos definitely check me out on there. As always stay healthy, stay schwazy, and have a wonderful day.